today we're gonna talk about the elephant in the room we're gonna talk about leaks in rise of kingdoms what's going on guys cheers now this is a bit of an odd video that i feel like i kind of have to make because i'm getting a lot of people reaching out to me and commenting on my videos about there being allegedly a leak for new archer commanders i've had multiple people actually get mad or annoyed at me for not talking about these alleged leaks and if it was just like one person i'd be like okay yeah whatever but i'm actually really surprised that people would get annoyed at me for something like this as if i have an obligation to talk about these things but in a way i sort of do get it right over the years i have discussed multiple leaks here on the channel i have a history of doing so and so people kind of build up that expectation that i will continue to do that in the future and not only that but typically in the past i would only ever discuss leaks if i thought that they were 100 real which gave a lot of credibility to the videos that i would make i'm pretty sure i have a 100 accuracy rating for these upcoming releases and if something was going around the community as a leak that i thought wasn't real i would either not talk about it on the channel or i would straight up tell you guys hey whatever is floating around the community this looks completely fake so I've sort of built up this reputation of being that guy who talks about the leaks and is always accurate about that. And one of the problems with always being right and always leaking information that is accurate is that eventually you get in trouble for doing that. So let me tell you a quick story. Now I, I've told this on the channel before, but it's been a long time and either people forgot or there's a lot of new people who are watching who don't know about this. Okay. So essentially the reason why I stopped talking about leaks on the channel is because I talked about Boudicca prime and Henry coming into the game like two weeks before they were officially announced. This was probably the farthest in advance that I had ever revealed or talked about new commanders here on the channel even other leaking sources weren't talking about these commanders and if I'm being honest I don't actually remember where I got those leaks from it was probably some sort of discord and speaking of discord you can find my discord in the links down below make sure you join that but I talked about these commanders okay and at the time I don't even think I showed pictures of the commanders I'm not really sure but I think I talked about the different skills and I also made a really convincing thumbnail for these commanders okay and that caused that video to get a lot of traction it got a lot of views it got like 18,000 views in like a day or like two days it got a ton of views and then a few days later I woke up to the first ever copyright strike on my YouTube channel now a copyright strike on YouTube is actually pretty serious and a lot of people don't know this because when they hear copyright strike they think of copyright claim and these are two completely different things on the YouTube platform a copyright claim essentially is YouTube's automated system and it, it can be triggered manually but it's usually the automatic YouTube content ID system finds copyrighted content in your videos or live streams it will put a claim on that video and then typically what happens is the video stays up but all of the revenue or a portion of the revenue typically it's all the revenue goes to the original owner of that copyright and i think this system is super unfair and very outdated okay because you know if i make a video talking about rise of kingdoms and there's a song in the background that is you know a, a taylor swift song or whatever okay taylor swift is going to get all the revenue for that video even though her song wasn't the reason that anybody watched the video in the first place but regardless copyright claims aren't a big deal but copyright strikes are a big deal copyright strikes are DMCA takedown requests that a company files with YouTube and YouTube is legally required to take action so what this means is a company will go to YouTube and say hey YouTube this video has our copyrighted content they are infringing on our copyright and as the platform hosting that content we are legally requiring you to take down that content and YouTube has no choice they have to remove that content in order to maintain their status as a platform when this happens you get a strike on your channel and if you get three copyright strikes on your channel your channel is deleted that's it so waking up and finding a copyright strike on my 
my channel was really concerning for me and I noticed that the video was taken down it was gone there was nothing that I could do I couldn't set it to private I couldn't do anything the video itself was deleted now you are able to file a counterclaim with these requests but that is essentially opening yourself up to a legal dispute essentially what you're saying is everything in that video you have the right to use in your video and you're willing to go to court over it okay and obviously uh if you're posting content with video game footage you don't own the rights to that content okay let me give you guys a little bit of a spoiler here every single YouTube video on the platform that features video game content could technically be against copyright law now of course a lot of companies have their own terms of service that permit the use of video game footage because obviously this is beneficial to companies right my channel recently hit 10 million views thank you guys seriously thank you very much and Lilith benefits from 10 million people watching content about their game especially because they've never paid me for any of this content okay now I get ad revenue and obviously I have built a channel which lets me take sponsorship so I gain something out of this as well but typically it's okay to post video game content unless it infringes in the copyright in a way that could be damaging to the company so I was not going to file a counterclaim because I knew that it wouldn't lead to anything. But I did reach out to some people in the Rise of Kingdoms Discord who pointed me in the direction of a few different people that I could email over at Lilith. And I literally had to reach out to the legal team at Lilith Games and talk about what we can do to get the strike removed from my channel after I think three or four weeks eventually they agreed to remove the strike from my channel under the agreement that I wouldn't talk about leaked content anymore and to me that's a pretty good deal right because again three strikes and your channel is deleted permanently it's gone okay so for me that's a good thing I didn't have to pay any fines I didn't have to go to court I don't have to do anything okay and honestly I was pleasantly surprised with how Lilith handled this I was grateful for that second chance so to speak but now you might be thinking Omniarch we're talking about alleged leaks for Archer commanders okay and at this point it seems like a lot of people on YouTube are already talking about these alleged leaks clearly if it was such a big deal these videos would be taken down and that's literally not how this works <laughs> So a lot of the people that are talking about alleged Archer leaks right now are smaller YouTube channels than mine. And I totally get it, right? I was in their shoes a year or two ago. And for me, I thought a, I was a small channel. So it, like, what are the odds that Lilith is going to see my videos? And B, when you are a small channel, you'll do pretty much anything you can to grow that channel. So I totally understand why smaller content creators would capitalize on the sort of ability to fly under the radar. But that's a massive risk if you care about your channel. That's just, that's the reality. You are taking a risk with your, literally with your entire channel by posting about those leaks and again if you're a smaller content creator maybe that's worth the risk but it's not okay like it's still it's still copyright infringement like it's literally it doesn't make it legal because you have a small a channel it doesn't make it legal because oh well I live in Germany oh I live in, it's it's illegal it's literally a company's copyrighted content that you're posting without their permission there's no there's no question right there's no question about whether it's legal or not that's crystal clear now will these small content creators be taken to court no that there's just there's no way could they be technically yes they they could technically be taken to court but the odds of that are like I mean come on we're talking about international law here it's a mobile game like probably not okay but the chance of their channel getting deleted is very real it's a very real Real possibility and the problem with being a smaller content creator is that you don't have any contacts at YouTube you can't reach out to YouTube and be like hey my channel was deleted like you could do that but it's probably going to go through an automated bot system who's just going to be like oh yeah you committed copyright infringement of course it was deleted and then that's it you have no real humans you can talk to at YouTube even myself if my channel got deleted I have no contact at YouTube there's nobody that I can reach out to I would basically just have to hope that I could reach them on like Twitter support or something like that so to answer your question the smaller content creators are taking a risk with their entire channel to bring these leaks to you and 
I get why they would do that do I condone it no I would say probably don't do it I, I mean I know firsthand that Lilith is paying attention they're seeing what you're doing especially if you're posting it on the official rise of kingdom discord in the media channel you're insane but trust me they see you they know what you're doing but if they're watching and they see that these things are happening and these videos aren't taken down and these channels aren't being punished why don't I just risk doing it I mean everyone else seems to be fine right and the truth is that I like rise of kingdoms okay there's things about the game that I strongly disagree with and I've talked about them here openly on the channel I'm very honest with you guys how I feel about things when they come into the game whether it's armaments whether it's crystal technology whether it's whatever okay but at the end of the day I've been playing this game for years not because I have to because I want to okay I'm not sponsored by Lilith I can quit this game whenever I want to I just don't want to and if I'm going to make content about this game it's in my best interest to not be at odds with Lilith at least legally we can disagree with the direction of the game that's just that's just my opinion who cares but I'd rather not have legal problems with them okay and also I'm gonna pull back the curtain here for just a moment okay I'm gonna be real with you guys just for a minute YouTube is a source of income for me it is not my only source of income I have a job just like everybody else but we just hit 50,000 subscribers and the income that I make from this channel is meaningful to me it is a significant percentage of my overall income and I have bills to pay okay but not just that I do help other people in my family financially and it's a blessing that I am able to do that as a result of making videos about a game that I like to play this YouTube channel that you're watching was created in 2014 in November it'll be nine years that this YouTube channel has been up and I've been posting pretty regularly since then I don't think I've taken more than like six weeks off at any point in the last nine years okay so for me I'm a content creator first and a rise of kingdoms player second okay my YouTube channel and making videos is more important to me than rise of kingdoms as a game I've been doing it for longer it just makes sense I've been making YouTube videos not only on this channel but on older channels on previous channels for literally like 10 15 years like I've been literally on this platform since it was uh, since it started okay and I've wanted to make YouTube content as a job for the whole time and so I'm finally in a position and I'm very lucky to be in this position where that's a reality making content for me is just more important than leaking something about rise of kingdoms it's just not worth it to me even if everybody else is getting away with it right now so what I started to do in instead is that I started to post videos talking about predictions and speculation okay I started to piece together publicly available information for rise of kingdoms and bring it to you guys with my own thoughts and opinions as to what I think might happen next now when Lilith first announced Sargon they also revealed that Zug Liang was coming into the game this was at a in-person event and it was mentioned by the actual developers of the game and that video was posted on YouTube so that information was available publicly we did not have an image of this commander but I took that information and I made a video about it and so we've known for a long time that that's been the case and even just a few weeks ago I predicted that we would get Zug Liang and Dido coming to Rise of Kingdoms now if you scroll down here they're not in the game so that is my only comment on that but I predicted that based on publicly available information and my best speculation so we'll see if that is the case when Lilith inevitably decides to release new commanders so moving forward with the channel I will continue to speculate on new things that I think could be coming or things that I would like to see come to the game or I'll continue to comment on information that is publicly available and of course as soon as new content comes out that I think is cool or important I'm going to talk about it here with you guys but the reason that I'm not talking about leaks is because I literally can't do it and legally nobody can it's just a risk that some people are willing to take and I am not willing to take that risk now if there were allegedly new Archer leaks for rise of kingdoms I would say that they might convince me that they're credible my best advice is that if you're interested in investing in future commanders that come into the game you should be saving your legendary commander sculptures right now don't use any of your legendary commander sculptures right now until you see what comes out in the 
future but until commanders are revealed publicly by Lilith I won't talk about them on the channel hopefully this clears things up for you guys hopefully you can understand my perspective where I'm coming from and hopefully well hopefully you don't hate me <laughs> I don't plug my discord that often on the channel so I'm gonna do it here once again you guys should join my discord with that being said guys if you made it all the way to the end of this video I hope you would drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it comment down below your thoughts on everything that we discussed in this video consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next Next time that I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video, especially if you want to know the moment that I talk about anything new that comes into the game. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.